and they can have whatever they ask for with no motherfucking issues. I'll pay the room up to a year right now. Pussy said, peace. If there is a will, there is a way. What God put together, let no man put asunder. Come on, somebody. I know the word. Where my real girls at? Miracles. Signs and wonders. Miracles, signs and wonders. Cavities, honey. I had my cavities fixed years ago. You see a metal filling in my mouth and now I got cavities. Girl, go to fuck to hell. I got a metal cavity right here. It's been like that since I was like 14, 15, 16 years old. Girl, I can give a fuck. I'm going to hit you up Friday with some cash for you, for you, the Thank you, Pastor J-Rock. That's a feeling, boo. I was mad at you with you to see it. I'm back on your team. See that, too. Go get your man back. J-Rock just made me love him all for preaching. Y'all got to understand, like, no shade is bad. I I'm going to cry. I want to cry. I need that moment to let it out. Like I tell Ace all the time, like, stop holding your feelings back. Bitch, I want to cry so motherfucking bad. But you know the reason why I can hold my tears back is because of what am I crying for? I know who God is. God said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. So why would I be mad? Why would I be mad? Miracles, signs, and wonders. Why you want to cry, boo? I want to cry because my the, the flesh, in my flesh I am hurt. In my worldly flesh, in my worldly soul, I am hurt. That's natural as a human being. Yes, you're supposed to be hurt. You, you got to be hurt. If you fall in love with somebody and, you know, they're not in love with you, yes, you're going to be hurt. But... Because God is the greatest power and we shall never be defeated. Say, you're not going to have my victory. Girl, you can go to hell. <laughs> I, I forgot you already there. Say, you better stay down now. Don't come up here playing with me, girl, because I'm going to do you dirty. I'm going to do you so dirty, girl. I will stomp tiptoe on top of your motherfucking head, girl. You wouldn't know what came your way, girl. And I ain't no little nigga, six foot seven, size 17, shoe 221 pounds, girl. You might want to catch up with me saying, because you ain't got nothing on my God, girl. Miracles, signs, and wonders. She kind of a hope. I know who God is. I know J Rock clearly has a testimony when he fully speaks it will be amazing. No, y'all, y'all, you want to test it on me? You want to know the real, you want to know the real, what's really going on? Y'all want to just sit down. Let's just have a moment with J-Rock. Let's run it real quick. J-Rock got put out of his mama house. J-Rock was sleeping in his 2014 kid with no fucking heat in it. I was sleeping out there every single day. J-Rock and his siblings, J-Rock has been in foster care since the day he was born. That, like, biological mama never really, you know, never really fucked with it like that. We fucked around, but, you know, never really just had, like, that mother-son relationship. I went to the military, I came back from the military, like at this point, all my siblings is becoming grown, they, they're teenagers are above, and we just not feeling each other as real siblings. Like, we feel each other in moments, we have our moments as siblings, but when I make friends, I make friends to as siblings. Like, if, like I told Shamar and Ace, if I look at y'all in this type of way, I'm looking at you as a real sibling. Like, I tell y'all, I, I I escape Nashville. I escape. I escape everything that is like that puts me in a bad place. And I tell Ace and them every single day, like I hate being looked at in a bad, negative manner. I hate that. That absolutely pisses me off because I have no bad intentions on nobody. Like I am a hurt individual that is seeking the love that I was never given as a child. I'm a hurt individual that is seeking the love from siblings that I never got as a child. I am seeking the love from an ex-relationship of seven years that I never got as a lover to your companion. That's what the fuck is going on. So if I'm a little aggressive, a little forceful, okay, sorry, I be, so be it. But don't entertain that. If you entertain me, 
you can't go back and say, well, you too this, you too that. You never said that to me. You entertain me. So I'm thinking everything is fine and dandy. Now, as you do express your feelings, I work on what I got going on. But it's never gave this today. Today is just everything for me. Today is giving, it's giving bad vibes. Today is just like, today is giving like, J-Rock, where do we go from here? Like, everything in your life just goes wrong. But this is why I tell people I have failed. I mean, I have yet to see God fail me yet. So I can't be mad at nobody. No, I, I, I tell Ace and I don't have an ID, so I can't fly home. I'm not going to use a fake ID to fly home. Just can't. I'm not going to do that. I can go get me a fake ID. I'm not going to do that because I don't need no issues. <laughs> so with that being said, when I'm ready, I will go home. But that's on me. I'm 23 years old. I'm grown. I'm nobody. Nobody is my boss. Nobody can tell me what to do. I don't have a mama. I don't have a daddy. I don't have a boyfriend. I don't have none of that. So can't nobody tell me what the fuck to do at all. So whatever I want to do and how I want to do it, I'm grown as the flying fuck. I have been disowned my whole entire life by the people that say they love me the most. So my way of being genuine and showing real love is by paying for shit. I don't know why. I've always been able to just afford shit. I've, I, if, if I can't afford it, I'll steal it. Like, that's just always been me. I've always been a giver. I hate to receive. I love to give. I hate to receive. I just hate. It's better to give than to receive anyway. I hate to receive. Like, every single time I receive a big blessing, I always bless everybody around me. Like, that's just my type of vibe. That's just what I do. I hate being looked at in a negative manner. That pisses me off. That puts me in a dark place because that's just like showing love to my siblings and my family every single day. And with them, they take your kindness for granted. Like, I, I bought my mom $350 worth of groceries the other day. And the next day, you sit on the phone trying to argue with me about some shit that I can't fucking control. That whole the entire time I sent her the three hundred and fifty dollars, she called me back like, "Oh, but now you want to give them fifty dollars, ma'am? I gave you three hundred and fifty dollars. Leave me alone. You asked for three hundred dollars. I gave you overflow, just to make sure you had some shit on the back end. But it's like when you find good, genuine friends and you mix social media with that shit, it fucks it up. Cause Ace has got a kind heart. Shamar has a kind heart. You put three kind hearts together and three great minds. Now y'all might think Shamar." stupid something but shamar is intelligent as shit that's what people feel if you're not around shamar you would even understand shamar is really that nigga and i'm not gonna lie yes i do try to fit in sometimes because sometimes i feel like i don't but over time when you get to know people more you understand like damn j-rock you do really fit in like Gerald, you really sexy as shit j-rock you really that nigga like that's just Yes, I can't lie. That's 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 another thing I got to work on too. But with that being said, you can't tell me to work on it on your time. We all got the a lot of people. I had them tendencies where, like, I'm a type of person that you can't tell me shit. You just really can't tell me shit. You can't tell me nothing about what the fuck I got going on. Let me take care of it on my own. My mom will tell y'all I hate when she try to tell me how to do something. But I'm a type of person that when I'm doing something and you tell me how to do it, I'm gonna apply that but I'm going to apply it in my own way. You can't just forcefully tell me to do this or how to do that. It's like, we all distraught. We all done been to do some real hard shit. And I think us mixing social media or what the fuck we got going on is making shit even fucking worse. Because when we can be having a good time and we can see our notifications pop up of a live or something of ours, and we go back and watch and then it gives everybody a bad attitude because, yeah, we say shit out of spite sometimes. We say shit that I hurt the next person or we say something that we, we might regret on the end. But at the end of the day, if that's, that's just a part of a friendship. That's part of a relationship. Like, that shit going to happen, but it's up to y'all on the back end to fix that shit. It's not every single day we got to come on live and give y'all negativity. And I tell that to a lot of people, like, I don't want to be looked at in the negative light. That's not my cup of tea. Like, I want y'all to know me for something positive. That's why when everybody say, get on this trend, get on that trend, I can't because a lot of shit be negative. I can't stay on Big O. I did Big O for a month. I, I, I did my biggest one on there, grew my followers, grew my support. But it came to a point like Big O was nothing but depressed.
I was depressed on there. They always wanted to talk about dead film members or dead this, your kid brother, your kids, your this, your, your son and that, a lot of bullshit. And a lot of people don't know that it's like people like me that, and Ace, Ace is the same type of person. Ace, he has a hard time expressing his feelings. Ace expresses his feelings through anger, through like his emotions don't show shit because Ace can be good in the light, but in, uh, in the deepest part of his heart, he can really be fucked up by some shit and he won't tell you at all. But then when it comes out, it comes out in a bad light. And it's just, we got to get to a point where if we can all get a better understanding of each other, I think what it is, and I think where I fucked up is, I didn't really get an understanding of everybody. I pushed it too hard. And I apologize for that. I apologize for that. It's no big deal. Like, we could have just, we all could have just had a, a conversation on the back end. This is something that we should have went and sat down and ate over sat in the car and smoked the blunt over. Instead of taking it to social media, now we're going to have YouTube pages bashing our names, saying we into it, we don't like each other, all this good happy horse extra bullshit. That should not be a fucking thing. But I'm not forcing nobody to stay around me. I'm not forcing nobody to do shit, and this is what people need to fail to realize. I haven't forced nobody to do shit at all. Can't force you to do shit. Like, it would have been all good. Shamar didn't even need to make a post about shit that was going on. Because it wasn't nothing going on. Like, Shamar, nobody just left you. Ace left. I texted him. I called him. He didn't answer. I wasn't going to put him in my hot car. I seen the weather. The weather already had said it was 73 degrees outside. Why would I leave you in my car just sitting in my car like it's hot as shit outside what am i gonna leave you in my car sit and then on top of that you, you don't have no phone service so what are you gonna just be sitting in my car for so let me go renew the room let me make sure you got wi-fi let me leave you with a phone charger you got, got my number you know how to facetime you ain't got no service we'll take care of this shit on the back end no post should have been made in the first place because it wasn't given that now that post made it a big ass issue that should not fucking be. It just gave, the day just went down early as shit. Because I promised to God, oh my life, I woke up this morning with a good attitude. I woke up happy as shit. I tell everybody, like, I feel like I don't escape the bad shit that's going on in life. But it's like every single day that we do this shit, it just brings brings back memories of shit that I've been through in life. It brings back, it gives me PTSD. It brings back the military. It brings back bad relationships with friends, that type of shit. And y'all, we really don't have a problem with each other. Like, none of us really have a problem with each other. Like, none of us have a problem with each other. To be real with you, there is no fucking problems. You got issues that you want to, like, you don't want to happen in that type of way. Okay, say that to me on the back end. You don't have to get on live and tell everybody that, oh, this, that, and this, that, and that. 